and Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who set his holy honor, disciples, and pure apostles, that many prophets are righteous men, earnestly desire to see what you are seeing, but they did not see it, and to hear what you are hearing, but they did not hear. But as for you, blessed are your eyes, for they can see, and your ears, for they can hear. Let us be worthy to hear and perform according to holy gospels, through the prayers of your saints. Pray for the holy gospel. Lord, have mercy. Remember also, Master, all those who ask us to remember them in our supplications and prayers that we offer up to Lord our God. Repose the souls of those who have preceded and departed and heal those who are sick. To your love, our salvation, our health, our healing, and our resurrection. Alleluia, alleluia, Jesus Christ, the King of glory, rose from the dead. On the third day, Alleluia. Alleluia. Stand in the fear of God and let us see the Holy Gospel. The Snape of Martin Egon, Kiria Fusna Pekata, Luke, and I give on Gazanasma. Luxa si Stand up in the fear of God and listen to the Holy Gospel. A reading from the Gospel according to our teach Saints Luke the Evangelist. May his Blessing be with us all. Oh, 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 amen. From the Psalms of our teacher David, the prophet and the king. May his blessings be with us all, our means. Your hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. Alleluia. In the name of the Lord, O Lord God, Savior, the King of us all, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, glory be to you forever. Amen. Now it came to pass about eight days after these sayings that he took Peter, John, and James and went up on the mountain to pray. And as he prayed, the appearance of his face was altered, and his robe became white and glistening. And behold, two men talked with him who were Moses and Elijah, who appeared in glory and spoke of his decease, which he was about to accomplish at Jerusalem. But Peter and those with him were heavy with sleep. And when they were fully awake, they saw his glory and the two men who stood with him. Then it happened as they were, to, they were parting from him that Peter said to Jesus, Master, it is good for us to be here, and let us make three tabernacles, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. 
not knowing what he said. While he was saying this, a cloud came and overshadowed them, and they were fearful as they entered the cloud. And a voice came out of the cloud saying, This is my beloved son, hear him. Glory be to God for Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. The gospel we just heard is the transfiguration of our Lord Jesus Christ in front of three of his disciples. And this is actually uh, one of the lordly feasts, or the feast of our Lord Jesus Christ, one of the minor uh, lordly feasts. In our Coptic church, we have seven major feasts like the Resurrection, Nativity, Epiphany, and then we have seven minor feasts. One of them is like the circumcision, the entry into Egypt, the, uh, the entry into the temple, and the transfiguration. So this is actually one of the minor lordly feasts, and this is beautiful to, for us to read these readings. If you notice, through these readings of today, there was one of the main themes mentioning the word light a lot and the reference to light. So, for example, in the gospel about the transfiguration, we see that what it says that the appearance of our Lord Jesus Christ, his face was altered and he became so white that they couldn't even look at him. And we see in the readings of the Pauline, St. Paul said, he has delivered us from the power of darkness to translate us into the kingdom of the Son of his love. Inheritance of the saints in the light. And there's evidence or there's reference to a lot of light. And we see also that when we talk about this, uh, the transfiguration, the feast of transfiguration, our Lord Jesus Christ wanted to reveal his divinity to his disciples, to strengthen them so when they see him, you know, suffering on the cross, they understand that this is God. Because he was talking to uh, Elijah and Moses about the things to come. So about how he's going to be come and be crucified and die and rise. So the disciples heard this and this is a revelation of the divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ that he is God. That he's talking to Moses and Elijah. People from the Old Testament. And the voice at the end saying, this is my beloved son, hear him. So this is beautiful to hear about the light and moving from darkness into light just after the resurrection. Why? Because the resurrection is all about light. So we're celebrating this time after the resurrection, the time of Pentecost. We are celebrating the light, the light of the resurrection. And that's why we have, for example, Saturday is light Saturday or joyous Saturday. It's the light. And we have everything here in white. That's the light of the resurrection. And this is important because St. Paul says, that God has qualified us to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in the light. How he did that, he delivered us from the power of darkness into the kingdom of the son of his love. How did he do that? Redemption through blood, forgiveness of sins. So all this happens through the resurrection. So the resurrection qualified us to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in the light. The resurrection is the one that moved us from the darkness to light. What is darkness but sin? So sin is darkness. Sin is the grave. The resurrection is for us to rise, to be raised up from that grave, to be raised up from the darkness, from the darkness of sin into the light of the resurrection. So as we are celebrating this period of the resurrection, always remember the light. Always remember the power of the light. That darkness represents sin. When you fall into sin, we become dark. Our heart is darkened. But through the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, the power of the resurrection gave us the power to go from darkness into light. And that's why you find the readings all focusing about this. This is very important because as a Christian, I need to live the life of light. 
And that's why our Lord Jesus Christ, when he described himself, he said, I am the light of the world. And then he said, you are the light of the world. So he said, I am the light and you are the light because you are my sons and daughters. If I'm the light, you are like my, your, your father in heaven. You are the light as well. We are carrying the light of the resurrection. And that's why I have to be light to the world and we have to shine to the world because the world is full of darkness of sin. Our role as Christians is to be a light to the world, to shine into a darkened world. How can we shine if ourselves are not shining, if we don't take the light? And this is the best time to take the light from the light of the resurrection. So we lift our hearts to God during the liturgy and say, God, even if I'm living in darkness, now is the time to be transferred from darkness into light through the power of resurrection. If I've been living in sin, this is the time to leave that sin, leave that darkness, and go into the light. The resurrection is our own personal resurrection that we live and exercise and practice every day by living in the light. Glory be to God forever.